Forecast, News 18, weather from where you live. Well, that's been the deadliest tornado outbreak in six years for the U.S. And now in that area, it's just freezing temperatures. Check that out, a hard freeze all the way to the Gulf Coast, all the way to northern Mexico. We may get frost to the north side of Orlando, Florida, coming up tomorrow night and the night after that. So this is quite a rude awakening, and we've even had a little sleet and snow as far south as the Gulf Coast tonight. As the cold air moves south, we're at a, uh, behind that storm system that produced all the tornadoes, and especially that one significant one. Near record cold continues, single digits tonight, accumulating snow Thursday after a few flurries and snow showers tomorrow. And then it's rain, ending as some snow and a lot of wind coming up for the weekend. Just a few clouds lingering tonight. The next system for us is up here. A little short wave, a little cold pocket aloft. It wasn't cold enough near the ground. It's very cold as you go up in the atmosphere with this little disturbance, which will pivot down. And with the strengthening March sun angle, we will bubble up a few flurries and little scattered snow showers tomorrow. And then this system here, one piece of it kind of breaks off and moves in from the northwest to bring us snow on Thursday. Then the rest of it comes in by the upcoming weekend. With temperatures this evening still dropping, we're running around 7, 8 degrees out there right now. And by 11, we're already going to be down to 5. And wind chills are already around 10 below. They will likely bottom out around 12 below zero for a good chunk of the area overnight. With four for the low, we'll have a high tomorrow of 19 with again some scattered flakes around, maybe a dusting here and there. And then Wednesday, after a lot of sun early and a low of seven, a high of 26 as clouds increase, but it'll still be a little breezy. Notice on precision cast, quite a few clouds around tomorrow, little sun poking through, a few flakes around here and there. And then after a lot of sun initially on Wednesday, you see here in the morning hours, notice how the clouds thicken up as the day wears on. And with that, snow begins to come in on Thursday. It will overspread the area in the afternoon through the evening hours, be heaviest on Thursday night, and end perhaps as a little light freezing drizzle, drizzle, and very light freezing rain and rain on Friday morning as temperatures rise. And still, the new data indicates the nose of this heaviest pointing right at the area. The heaviest up here in Iowa, parts of the Dakotas, and then we'll get in on some heavier snowfall totals. Fowler over to Kentland, uh, also towards uh, uh, Morocco and Remington, six to nine inches expected by Friday morning and three to six inches for the rest of the viewing area. It'll be a heavy wet snow, but it still may blow around a little bit as winds crank up a little bit late Thursday and Thursday night. 36 then falling on Friday, 37 Saturday, but 49 Sunday, the thing is that will occur in the morning. We will drop in the afternoon with the rainfall around and 31 with some scattered snow showers on Monday. Tell you what, it was not ready for that uh, cold this morning. This, this morning was rough. Yeah, today was uh, a rare March day to be this cold. I think you just start stepping on Twitter, just jacket warning, like wear how many jackets you should be wearing when it's that cold outside. Like five. Yeah. Right and I wasn't even wearing one. Yeah, see, you got to wear your jacket. <laughs>